And it, oh, oh. Welcome back to Bella Boo's Lunches, or if you're new, welcome. Today I'm gonna start with making chicken salad for her lunch. I think I'm gonna have her eat it on crackers or maybe on bread, I have not quite decided yet. But I'm trying a new, like, slightly different recipe. So I do about, I don't know how much that is, maybe a third of a cup of mayo, maybe a fourth of a cup. And I use a big can of chicken. Hold on, I'll check to see how much, how many ounces were in that chicken. So 12 and a half ounces of chicken. So it's making kind of a biggish batch. All right, so then once you get it all pretty much mixed up, I would say don't add as much mayo as I did. I'm adding the seasoning. It is everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. Mix that in. Oh my gosh, it smells so good already. I cannot even handle this. Okay, there you go, my new recipe. Very good, very simple. All right, let me clean up this and then let's get to making her lunch. I think we're gonna do the Planet Box today. We're gonna start with this cute little um, turkey. What do you think about him, Bella? He's really fancy. He's really cute, I think. So we're gonna put him down there. Then she'll actually be able to use that napkin because of the way that I am packing her chicken salad. So her salad will go right into this little container and be closed up. So your napkin will be easy for you to use. Mm. So there you go. So there's some chickity chicken salad. Bella's already snacked on it while she was waiting for me. So this You're is taking, what's left. You're taking a long time. It's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm going to slice up a couple little pickles for her. I sometimes put pickles into her chicken salad. What are these for? That's to offset my lighting. Oh. Because my lighting is off right now. Mm. Because this thing is like a mirror kind of. Oh yeah, hi guys. I think I'm going to do this little guy. He's going to hold our pickles. There we go. Up here we're gonna put some grapes. So up here we will put her crackers. So these are my favorite crackers and Bella's. Uh, they're Triscuit, fire roasted, tomato and basil. They are so good. So how does that look? Let me move some stuff out of the way. That's cute, right? Would you wanna eat that? All right, well, we'll see what she eats. Oh, I Bella, how'd you move me do? Oh, holy smoly. All right, good job, Bella. Yeah, have fun cleaning that out. Yeah, have fun. Happy Tuesday. Today, Bella is taking turkey and hummus wraps in her lunch. And then I'm gonna put on some turkey tonight. I don't know if a lot of you know, if you don't follow us on Instagram, I don't know if I mentioned it anywhere else, but Bella is in hockey. And tonight is her first hockey practice. She's pretty darn excited. She did a try it. They have like a girl's trial thing where you can, you know, just try it and see if you like it. She ended up loving it. So now she is signed up and she's going to do it. So we got most of her gear already. We were able to do like a rental for her gear. However, uh... We still have quite a bit of things that we need to pick up still. I'm just poking this through so it kind of like keeps its shape. Okay, so let's get these guys cut out here. I'm gonna cut his end off. It'll be a bed lunch. Bed lunch, a lot of you guys ask what bed lunch is. It's just a snack after dinner. So it could come anytime. It's, you know, it's not an entire meal. It's just like something, if you're a little peckish, to eat between dinner and bedtime.
In her lunchbox, I just took a cupcake liner and flattened it out. So that's going to go on the very bottom. Okay, then on this side, I'm going to do another little cupcake liner at the bottom. And then I have these two silicone cups that I'm going to just kind of stick at a diagonal in here. And this little cup I'm going to throw in there too. I'm going to put some ranch dressing into here. And she is going to get some black olives. They're her favorites as well as some carrots. She's kind of been really liking carrots with ranch. All right, well here they are. Let me add a couple cute little animals over here. So we'll do a little lion in the grapes. Let's do a bunny in the olives. There, that's cute. So here will be her lunch tomorrow. She's getting the hummus and turkey roll-ups here. Um, I made them on just little tortillas. They're like the little fajita sized ones. Carrots and ranch, black olives and grapes. So here is her lunch. We'll see what she eats. All right, Bella, how'd, how'd you do? You? I did. I really didn't hide anything. I didn't oh. hide anything. Bella, you barely ate it. I had snack. Did you use this? No. Okay. Oh my gosh. I had a big snack. Are you ready to pack another lunch? Tonight, Bella had hockey. And what do you think, Bella? How do you feel? Tell us your honest, raw emotions. Um, feeling pretty sore. Yeah? Feeling pretty sore, and I'm not looking forward to for tomorrow, you know. Yeah. Because the next, always the next day it hurts more. That's true. <clears throat> so, Bella's going to do an Epsom salt bath. Yep. With a bath bomb. With a bath bomb, probably as well. Jeez, Louise, Amy, calm down. We also bought her some bubble bath that's good for pain <sighs> relief. It was really funny, even though I kept falling. Yep, you I did fall an awful lot, but guess what? Get back up again. Yeah, as long as you're getting back up. You can fall as many times as you want. And the funny part is, yeah, my legs were hurting so much when I fell one time, so I just kind of crawled. You crawled? Yeah. <laughs> I saw you crawling. That was <laughs> bread and butter pickles. I was getting a little... little yeah. pain? Yeah. Oh, gosh. I was like, I don't want to just crawl like a baby. So the first four practices are just going to be the coaches kind of looking at the players and seeing how well they skate. See if they can skate backwards and circles. Yeah, and then they'll put them into teams uh, based on their abilities. Yeah. So that was just some apple cinnamon applesauce. She's just getting a weird lunch tonight, you guys. I'm really tired, so this is oh. what she's getting. Same, so same. She is going to get a turkey sandwich here in a second, but first I'm going to just put some Sprinkles on her yogurt. These are just cute little leaves, little fall leaves. You guys, I was so out of my element. Let me just tell you about this. So we walk in to the ice puff, and I have no idea what to do because we signed her up late. Like there's typically, I think it's supposed to be signed up in August, but we didn't even do like the play thing until September or like the girls try it thing until September. And so we had signed up late, therefore we didn't like go to a parents meeting or the informational meeting or whatever it is. So when we went tonight, I did not know where we were going. So we walked down into the locker, like there's like a hallway and it's just like locker room, locker room, locker room. So we walked down in there because I thought maybe there'd be a sign on one of the lockers and there wasn't. And so I was looking for people, but we were there kind of early. so. There was nobody there to, you know, guide us or direct us. I mean, there are people there, but I didn't know, like, if they were, like, who they were. I didn't know if they were just parents or if they, I don't know. You know, like, I'm just clueless. I didn't know what to do. I feel like they should have sent me an email, especially since they knew I missed that meeting, and just say, hey, here's a heads up. This is what you're going to want to do. Another group of people walked in, and when they walked in, they paused 
and they looked at this big screen TV. And I'm like, oh, what are they looking at? I wonder what they're looking at. So then I went over and looked at it and it had where you're supposed to go. Hold on. Okay, I had to go and I'm gonna make her two sandwiches because these just look too little in here. Okay, so anyway, what was I saying? So I finally went and looked at the big screen TV. Is that where I'm at? And I saw, what happened to this piece of bread? Okay, my bread's getting smushed. I went and looked at the big screens and lo and behold, it said if you are here for, I don't know, something hockey. The, I just saw it at 5.30 because that was the time that she was playing or practicing. So anyway, does it matter? Oh my gosh, I like make the shortest story so long. So I went and looked and it said what locker room to go in. So I'm like, oh, okay, bonus. I know where to go. So we go down and go, go into the locker room and I walk in and it's like a dad and it, like it was boys, like all boys in there. And I'm like, oh crap. Uh, I wonder what room we're supposed to be in. So I just, I asked him, I go, is this like, can girls be in here? And he just looked at me like, yeah, well, what the heck? Who cares? So I'm like, okay. So we walked in there or maybe he was looking at me like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It was, it was basically like, just come in here and let your kid change. Nobody cares. So it's, and it's not like they're like changing out of their clothes and into something else. They're putting gear on over top of what they're already wearing. So, you know, like it doesn't matter. Clearly it doesn't matter, Amy. So, okay. And don't worry. These, this doesn't get thrown in the garbage. So either I'm going to eat this. What I'll probably do is Bella will probably eat this meat separate or maybe I can just put it back under her sandwich. There we go. Give her a little extra turkey tomorrow. And then um, we will probably eat this bread either for bed lunch or I'm gonna toast it up immediately and make it into breadcrumbs. It's fine if there's a little bit of butter on there, it'll be okay. And then I just freeze them. Okay, so anyway, she ended up getting her gear on. That's a whole story in itself because Holy smokes, it's a lot of work. Do any of you guys play hockey? Or your, do any of your kids play hockey? Or did any of you used to play hockey? It is so much work. I'm gonna put this little bear on the pumpkin. I don't know why, that makes no sense. And I'll put this little penguin in there. And then we'll have a couple dolphins jumping out of her pickles. It's a lot of work though, you guys. So anyway, I'm, do you ever go to the Iceplex? Come and tell me hi and let me know that it's okay that I'm totally out of my element and I don't know what I'm doing and please volunteer to tie her skates. <laughs> I will take all volunteers to tie her skates, okay? It's really hard. Anyway, here is her lunch for tomorrow. She's getting two turkey sandwiches, applesauce, some yogurt, some pickles, and black olives. We'll see what she eats. All right, Bella, how would you do? You ate one of them. I kind of figured you were only going to eat one. I should have only packed one. <laughs> All right. Ate some of your pickles. Of course, yogurt and applesauce are always gone. What did I pack in here? Do you put big grapes on it? Black olives? I don't know what I packed you in there. Nothing, maybe? I have no idea. Who knows? All right. Good job, Bella. Thank you. I have to admit it. The week has finally caught up with me. I am exhausted. Stop it. Box. Um, here's what I did already. I just kind of prepped down here. I put this, it's just a cute little polka dot napkin down in here. And then I took my silicone liners and I just kind of did them in a rainbow array around. So that's all that I did there. So I'm going to move this out of the way. It's always when I'm really tired when I think, okay, you know what I'm going to pack her today? A peanut butter sandwich. Easy. I might not even cut it out. Maybe I'll cut it out into a circle and I'll call it an Encrustable because that's fancy. And then I'll do stuff like this. So we're going to cut it out and we're going to cut it out into shapes and we're going to color them because I love being extra. Not really. I don't know what my deal is. I'm just exhausted, but you know what? Like I was just kind of thinking about all the things that I've done to exhaust me. Do you ever do that? Like go through a list in your head of, okay, yep, that's why I'm exhausted. I had to do that. I did that and that and that. Yeah, so it's going to make sense why you're exhausted. So here we go. Do you want to know what I all did? Do you want to know why I'm exhausted? Okay, well, 
My dad recently retired from his own business. He's going to sell it to my brother. Um, and I'm just gonna paint this on, okay? So we're just gonna talk while I paint with a toothpick. So we planned a surprise slash birthday party for him because he also turned 65. So happy birthday, dad. I hope you liked your party. Uh, it was kind of fun doing it. I haven't been able to talk about it at all because Lord knows I, we like my family, we are horrible at, with keeping secrets, horrible. So I couldn't even discuss anything even slightly because he actually watches these videos. So hi dad. Um, but he doesn't watch them always right away. Sometimes it might take a while, you know, so he's got, well, you know what? He's got a lot of downtime now, so maybe he will. But anyway, so we had this really fun surprise slash birthday party or surprise birthday party slash uh, happy retirement party for him. So that was a blast. So that was exhausting, but so, so fun. Um, then like you guys know, Bella is in hockey now. So that was another thing that we had to kind of get through. And I think we did it splendidly. We'll see how her next practice goes. You guys, it is so cute. And she was the only girl out there. I think a girl ended up, another one ended up coming later. But she was the only girl for a while. Why didn't I put his eye? He doesn't have an eye. Okay, let's fix your eye, buddy. Okay, so there's him. That's not the best job I've ever done. Um, his eye, I hope, doesn't bleed out because that's a lot of coloring on there. Okay, let's move on to the next. So what I typically do is I find these liquid ones actually work better. So we'll see. We'll see what happens um, if they do work better or not. So anyway, so we also have Girl Scouts. I don't know if I've even mentioned this to you guys or not. I feel like I haven't really visited in a while because I've just had so much to like on my plate that I've been doing. And I just haven't really said what I was doing. So anyway, here is the other thing that I'm doing is Girl Scouts, where um, we really struggled with getting our troops started. Um, it took a lot of work just to get like our background. I don't know. I felt like I was doing a lot of contacting. Like, okay, can you give me a heads up on how this works? Can you tell me? Like, I don't know. I just kind of felt lost and not... I don't know what I expect people to do for me. Like, I definitely don't expect them to hold my hand, but maybe just give me a little um, info, you know, especially when I'm clueless or if I'm new, because I want to do it right. So anyway, we're doing Girl Scouts. So that's been interesting. I will say the actual Girl Scouts part of it is so much fun. We have such a great group of girls that it's gonna be a lot of fun to just kind of see them grow. So Bella sold some nuts and she did pretty good. She sold $185 worth of nuts. <laughs> so I'd say that's pretty good, especially for, we only had one meeting prior to when the orders were actually due. So we had a few girls actually uh, get some nut sales under their belt, which is good because you know, we're a brand new troop. So we don't have any funding. I did not realize Girl Scouts does not fund you at all. Like you're just kind of on your own. And unless you plan to collect dues, which they also strongly frown against, um, then I don't know how you're going to like do things in your troop. So I don't know. It's just interesting. I don't really want to like harp on it too much because clearly we're in it and we... Are enjoying it I mean like I don't know I don't know how to explain it so we're Girl Scouts and we're in hockey and we had a big party and it's just kind of I don't know it's kind of been a lot that one's cute so it was Halloween tonight Bella dressed up and we did go trick-or-treating for a little bit and it was kind of cold <laughs> I was a little chilly, but she still got quite a bit of candy, and she went as a unicorn. So if you follow me on Instagram, I did post a picture over there if you want to see it. 
I did a like a stories thing and I just saved it so you can watch it if you want to see us I don't know Halloween was fun it was a lot of fun we always get all the little cousins together and get a picture it was kind of sad kind of hard because this was the first Halloween that my grandma wasn't here so that kind of sucked but it was always nice seeing her on Halloween she loved it she loved all the kids coming to see her and we liked it too there's that guy and let's just cut out another one for his back and I just throw these right into soapy water immediately and they haven't stained yet but as you guys know like I have things that have stained before I don't really care if it's stained whatever as long as it is cleaned I don't care if it's not, if it's just a little stained okay so let's put peanut butter on our little critter guys you don't really need a lot So we're going to do black olives up here, and then I got a bunch of grapes for here. If you guys have a Costco, I highly recommend picking up a veggie tray. You can pack your lunches all week long and have delicious vegetables in the lunches, okay? They're so good. I should have done these in rainbow order. What was I thinking? Should I switch it? But black isn't a color. I'm gonna do pineapple over here. Yes. Okay, that's cute. There you go. That's what I needed to do. I like that. That's cute. All right, I like this lunch. This was gonna be my most boring lunch. And look at how cute it turned out. I never know what I'm going to pack. A lot of you guys ask me, do you plan it? Sometimes I do, or I have an idea, but other times I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm making it up as I go. Here is Bella's lunch for tomorrow. She's getting grapes, carrots, pineapple, peas, black olives, and then cute little peanut butter sandwiches. So we'll see what she eats. All right, Bella, how did you do? I didn't hide anything. Beautiful rainbow lunch. Grape left. A couple of carrots anything. left. Some peas left. No! <laughs> Alright, Bella, good job. Way to end your week. Did you like this rainbow lunch? Yeah. Alright, well, that is the end of the week of lunches. I actually like how dumb. Napkin was rainbow too. Yeah, wasn't that fun? Yeah. Right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. We will see you in our next video, and it will probably be either a breakfast one because I've, I'm behind on those, so I need to get those up. Um, I just need to get them edited. So it'll either be a breakfast one or maybe groceries. I'm not sure. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit that button and comment. Bye!